Hey everyone, it's James with 317 Vapors. So you want to know what an atomizer is? Well, stick around and we'll get into detail on it and hopefully explain that better for you. This right here is a bridgeless atomizer. It, you could tell it kind of looks like a cardamizer, but when you look inside, it doesn't have any of the stuffing in it. Let me get a better close up view. Hopefully you can see in there, it's kind of hard with the lighting, but you can see that there's no stuffing in there like there was in the cardamizer. This is called a bridgeless atomizer. This is used for dripping. When you drip, you're going to have to, every three or four puffs, you're going to have to actually drip some more in there because it doesn't hold a lot. Whatever that little bit of wicking down in the bottom can hold is all it's going to contain. So you will have to continue to drip with a bridgeless atomizer. So basically the atomizer, same as a cartomizer without the, the cartridge built into it. There's a coil in here at the bottom and the wires run up when we power the battery or the unit that heats up the heating element inside the coil and creates a vapor in the liquid. So basically an atomizer is close to the same thing as a cartomizer without the cartridge that holds the the juice so you have to continuously drip these are also known as a dripping atomizer and like I said this one is bridgeless the difference between a bridgeless there's normally a piece of wicking material that goes over the atomizer and this one doesn't have that over the coil inside and this one doesn't have that so that's the difference between a bridgeless and a bridge atomizer but there you go that's an atomizer and just like everything else they have different threadings this one's a 510 connection it comes in 801 901 401 um, 510 they're all different size threads so you gotta make sure you get the atomizer that fits your your equipment most of them nowadays are the most standard one is a 510 connection that's what a lot of people have on their units but definitely check your unit before you buy anything that screws onto there because not everything is universal just because they sell it on the website that sells the other things does not mean it's going to fit your unit so find out your threads on your your mod your battery operated mod and then that's how you determine the threading you need for your actual unit that you're going to place on the mod so well I hope that helped you guys out if you guys are still confused or need anything clarified more don't hesitate to put your comments questions down below and I'll get back with you and see if we can clear things up for you don't forget to check out our Facebook page at www.facebook.com backslash 317 vapors the link will be down below and we appreciate your support and we'll see you guys on the next one